Hello, this is Jeffrey Chong, and the topic we are going to discuss today for Algebra 1 is factoring polynomials. So here's the learning objectives. In this section, you will learn to factor the greatest common factor of a polynomial, factor a trinomial, factor by grouping, factor a perfect square trinomial, factor a difference of squares, factor the sum and difference of cubes, and also factor expressions using fractional or negative exponents. So the first topic. Factor the greatest common factor of a polynomial. When we first study fractions, we learned that the greatest factor, the greatest fa common factor, or the GCF of two numbers, is the largest number that divides evenly into both numbers. For instance, for this, the GCF of 16 and 20, because it is the largest number that divides evenly into both 16 and 20. And the GCF of polynomials works the same way. For x, is the GCF of 16x and 20x squared because it is the largest polynomial that divides evenly into both 16x and 20x squared. When well, factoring the polynomial expression, our first step should be to check for a GCF. Look for the GCF of the coefficients, then look for the GCF of the variables. Oh, okay. Here's an example, like 5x squared plus 10x cubed plus 35x. When we do factoring, we get 5x as our GCF, so we pull that out times x plus 2x squared plus 7, which is what we have left after factoring here. So the next one is factoring a trinomial with the coefficient of 1. Trinomials of both of the form x squared plus bx plus c can be factored by finding two numbers with the product of c and a sum of b. The trinomials x squared plus 10x plus 16, for example, can be factored using the numbers of 2 and 8 because the product of those numbers is 16 and their sum is 10. The trinomial can be written as a product of x plus 2 times x, wait, of the product of x plus 2 and x plus 8. So, Alright, so the next one is factor by grouping. Trinomials with leading coefficients other than 1 are slightly more complicated to factor. For these trinomials, we can factor by grouping by dividing the x term into the sum of two terms, factoring each portion, portion of the expression separately and then factoring out the GCF of the entire expression. The trinomial x squared, 2x squared plus 5x plus 3 can be written as 2x plus 3 times x plus 1 using this process. process. We begin by re rewriting the original expression as 2x squared plus 2x plus 3x plus 3, and then factor each portion of the expression but to obtain 2x times x plus y, 1 plus 3 times x plus 1. We then pull out the greatest common factor of x plus 1 to find the factor, factored expression. So the next one is factoring a perfect square trinomial. A perfect square trinomial is a trinomial that can be written as the square of a binomial. Recall that when a binomial is squared, the result is the square of the first term added to twice the product of the two terms and the square of the last term. So a squared plus 2b, 2ab plus b squared is the same as a plus b, the whole thing squared. And this method can be used for factoring any perfect square of a binomial. And it's, it's the same for this one, a minus b squared. So it's a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Factoring a difference of squares. A difference of squares is a perfect square subtracted from the perfect square. Recall that a difference of squares can be rewritten as factors containing these, containing the same terms but opposite signs because the middle terms cancel each other out when the two factors are multiplied. So a squared minus b squared is the same as a plus b times a minus b. And we can check that as we like times a, a times a is equal to a squared and then a minus b is negative ab and then we got positive ab which cancel out and then b and then negative b squared we can check this by using the the foil method yeah. the next one is factoring the sum and difference of cubes now we look at the two special products the sum and difference of cubes although the sum of squares cannot be factored the sum of cubes can be factored into binomial and trinomial. a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. And similarly, 
the sum of cubes can be factored into binomial and trinomial, but with different signs. a cubed minus b cubed is the same as a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. And we can use the acronym SOAP, S-O-A-P, to remember the signs when factoring the sum of difference of cubes. The first letter of each word, of each, each word relates to the signs. Same, opposite, always positive. For example, consider the following example. x cubed minus 2 cubed is the same as x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4. The sign of the first two is the same as the sign between x cubed minus 2 cubed here, same, and then the 2x term is opposite the sign between the original expression, so the 2x term, which is here, is positive, it's opposite from here, the negative term, this negative sign, and then the last term, which is 4, is always positive, so, <coughs> so, like, um, same, opposite, and then always positive, so, Factoring expressions with fractional or negative exponents. Expressions with fractional or negative exponents can be factored by pulling out the greatest common factor. Look for the variable or ex exponent that is common to each term of the expression and pull out, out that variable or exponent raised to the lowest power. It has to be the lowest power. So these expressions follow the same factoring rules as those with integer exponents. For instance, 2x to the power of 1 fourth plus 5x to the power of 3 fourths can be factored by pulling out the greatest common factor, which is x to the power of 1 fourth, and being written as x to the power of 1 fourth times 2, here 2 plus 5x to 1 half, because 1 half is the same as 2 fourths, so 3 fourths minus 1 fourth is equal to 2 fourths, and 2 fourths is equal to 1, 1 over 2 or one half. Yeah. So let's do some practice question. The first practice question, factoring the greatest common factor. Factor 6x x, x cubed times y cubed plus 45x squared y squared plus 21xy. And I'll give you guys 30 seconds to work on this question. Starting from now. Alright, so the answer is here. The answer is 3xy, like 3xy is the, is their greatest common factor. So we pull that out, and then we, what we left got left is 2x squared y squared plus 15xy plus 7. And we can use distributive property to check if we if that's correct. So when we plug that in back, distribute distribute the the 3xy back to the expression here. We'll get the same thing as this, which is correct, yeah. So practice question number two, factoring a trinomial with leading coefficient of one. So factor x squared plus two x minus 15. Again, I'll give you guys 30 seconds to work on this. Starting from now. Alright, so the answer is x minus 3 times x plus 5, and here's the table for you to be, like, it should be easier to have a table. So, yeah, this is the answer. And for practice num question number 3, factoring a trinomial by grouping. So factor, factor 5x squared plus 7x minus 6 by grouping. Again, 30 seconds starting from now.
Alright, so the answer is 5x minus 3 times x plus 2. And again, here's the table for you to see. It should be easier to have table, yeah. Mm, yeah, so question number 4. Factoring the previous square trinomial. Factor 25x squared plus 20x plus 4. And again, 30 seconds, start from now. Alright, so, so notice that 25x squared and 4 are both perfect squares because 25x squared is equal to 5x times 5x and 4 is equal to 2 times 2. Then check to see if the middle term is twice the product of 5x and 2. So the product of 5x and 2 is 10x and when it's twice, it's 20x. So yeah, it's 20x. So Therefore, the trinomial is a perfect square trinomial and can be written as 5x plus 2 squared. And so 5x plus 2 squared is the answer. Practice question number 5. Factoring a sum of cubes. So factor x cubed plus 512, 5.2. And again, 30 seconds, sorry from now. Alright, so the answer, here's the answer, so the answer is x plus a times x squared minus x minus a x plus 64. So notice that x cubed and 5 tall, 5 tall are cubes because x cubed, like 8 cubed is 5, 1, 2. And obviously x cubed is a cube, like it's x cubed. So we can rewrite that, we would rewrite the sum of cubes as this expression over here. And the last practice question. Factoring an expression with fact fractional or negative exponents. So factor x, 3x times x plus 2 to the power of negative 1 third plus 4 times x plus 2 to the power of 2 thirds. And it's a bit harder, so I'll give you guys like 40 seconds to work on this start from now. Uh, so here's the answer. So the greatest common factor is x plus two to the power of negative one third because we have to have have like the least exponent. So when we take that out, what we got left is three x from this. So three x plus four times x plus two, and when we take negative one third out from two third. It's just 1, because 1 plus negative 1 over 3 is 2 over 3, so it's just 1 here. So, x plus 2 to the power of negative 1 third times 3x plus 4x plus 8, and this can be combined since it's like terms. So, x plus 2 to the power of negative 1 third times 7x plus 8. And that's all for the lesson today. Thank you.